<laughs> Welcome to Graphic Designer Pro. In today's tool time, we'll be looking at the alignment options in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to follow along, then you can download a free template file for this lesson from the description below. Okay, I'm gonna pass you over to Rory, our lead designer, who will show you how it works. Thanks Ross. So jumping straight into our template file, as usual we have some examples on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have a few elements that we're going to use the align options with. So first of all we have three squares here. If I select all of them up in my control bar you can see we actually have some alignment options. Now if you don't have this set up you can simply go to window and align and over on our right hand side we also have the alignment panel here as well with some extra options. So each of these icons denotes a different type of alignment and it's all fairly self-explanatory. Now by default we have our align to option set to selection so that means that the objects we have selected are what we're going to be using to align to. So at the moment we have three objects. If I choose the align to the left hand side it's going to align to the object that's the furthest to the left. If I just press command Z and this also goes for the right hand side and the same with the top and bottom as well. Now for the center align options it's slightly different. It's going to approximate the center point between the three or there's another option. We can go back to our align to option and you can see we have align to key object. Now there's not really much need to select this. Now that I have selected it you'll see our top square is selected and I can simply select any of the other objects within the selection and it will align to that object. But I don't actually have to select key object from here. I can keep it on selection and if I simply click again on any of these objects, we can get the same effect. So if I select our yellow box and center align these horizontally, you can see they're going to align to the center of that yellow box. And this also goes for the vertical alignment as well. So in this example, I'm going to just select the blue and yellow boxes, we'll left align them. I'm going to select the red and blue, I'll right align those two, and then just the yellow and red, and I can bottom align them. I can also align things to the artboard so if you noticed in the align to options we also have align to artboard this works in the same way again I could right align this but in this example I'm just going to center align this vertically against the artboard down at the bottom we have some more circles here I'm just going to click and drag over all of them to select them all and you'll also see underneath here we have some distribute object options to choose from as well now this works again horizontally and vertically so the first thing I need to do is make sure we go back to align to selection so we're not aligning this against the artboard and the first thing I'm going to do is center align these vertically so clicking the vertical align center option that's going to make sure all the center points are aligning and now I'm going to distribute these horizontally so what this is doing is it's distributing these circles equally based on their center points so we're not actually getting equal spacing however down below this you can see we have a distribute spacing option so again this applies vertically and horizontally. I'll click the horizontal option for now and now they are actually equally spaced. Now if I actually click one of these objects again to make it a key object we now get a value that we can change so we can be even more specific with the spacing. I could specify this to be 40 pixels and if I click our horizontal distribute space option again it's going to space it out by exactly 40 pixels. And that's really it for an overview of our alignment options in Illustrator. If you want to learn more about graphic design, we've created a free one hour training where we reveal our top five secrets to creating beautiful graphic design. So make sure to sign up for the next free webinar. The link is in the description. You're not gonna to want to miss it. I'll see you there.